Uh, learn to be tight with the cash. Um, this is this is quite funny, um, but for all the right reasons. Um, what I would say is that people spend too much all the time and on the, on the wrong things. Now, see, I'll buy something, but at the same time, the first thing I do, uh, I'll give you an example. Um, I was buying a new bike this weekend with the bank holiday. So what I did is found it online, then I went looking for coupons um, for that bike. Um, in the end, couldn't get it, but when I went in store, I bought the um, other bits I needed, like lights and stuff, on the um, three for two. Um, but that's just, it, the reason I bought the bike, and it took me a week to make that decision to buy it, um, is because I look at the cost of a gym, um, I like photography, and the fact is, for a gym, it's never open when I'm here, and I'm not always here. A bike I can take with me, a bike I can throw my camera in a rucksack and take pictures when I'm out and about. So for me, the bike itself will pay off um, within 10 months for the same price it cost me for the gym. So I've got a nice bike for the same cost of the gym. I can take my camera with me, I can travel around, I can throw it on the back of the, uh, back of the car and I can, uh, I've got a bike for the next 10, 15 years where the gym runs out after 12 months or whatever and you've got to pay it all again where the bike's paid for in cash and 10 months it's paid off at the same rate I would have paid for the gym. Now, the same goes for things like Kindle um, because the cost of the books are cheaper so a lot of time I've got a, I've got a Kindle that costs me 60 quid but I also read work documents so it's, it's an asset because um, the tab's okay but because it's a tab you get the glare it's not really the same as a book and I do like reading a real book um, but you've got to learn to be tight um, if you want to get on in life you want spare cash it's, what I do is I define what I need and what I want um, the priority is always what I need um, and what I want is always at the bottom of the list and even when you do things like go out for a few beers with friends sometimes I feel like God, I've wasted some cash there and I topped up how much it's cost for a night out and I think that could have bought me a flight to Spain and it, that it's putting everything in context where you start to save money um, because you have a value for everything you know, if you say, oh God, I spent 50 quid last night out on the beer, you regret spending 50 quid. But if you turn around and said, that was my flight to Spain, I could have gone to Spain instead. Uh, yeah, and yeah, you can get a flight for 50 quid into Spain before somebody messages you can't get it. Yes, you can. Uh, between 50 and 70 quid, I can get flights for to Spain. Um, but that is being tight, it's being thrifty, it's being um, frugal. But at the same time, I buy stuff I like. I buy stuff that is going to last a lot longer. Like my bike. My bike is good for 15 years. You, you tally up 300 quid over 15 years and tell me how much that costs me a day. It's virtually nothing. Um, it's paid for in cash. I don't do loans. I don't borrow money. Everything I do is paid up front. Um, I don't like giving anybody interest. I don't like giving anybody anything I don't have to. Um, I do give away stuff for charity and stuff, but that, that is also to do with giving rather than receiving, but on a personal basis, it's, it's actually, the reward is actually helping others. But God, I hate giving money to banks. <laughs> Doesn't everybody, especially after they messed up all the economies and then turn around and still want us to pay for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what I generally do is if you do a list of the stuff you need and then do a list of what you want and then do you what you need first and then go on to what you want second. Now, I would also say that if it's long period stuff, I would get something you want for a reward for doing something else. Um, for example, when I did a man for doing 
uh, nearly four months in the desert, my reward at the end of the contract was a new motorbike. Um, that's, that was because we run over by two weeks, which means I had two weeks extra salary. Um, so I spent the money on a camera, I spent the money on a motorbike, and I bought other stuff with it. Um, and that's generally how it is. You know, if you're wondering why people get on in life, these are a prime, prime example. Um, if you read Rich Dad Poor Dad or uh, some of the audio books, I, I get confused on the guy's name. I'm not sure of the actual pronunciation of it. But the fact is he br br brings up the, his wife wanted a new Mercedes. Now, they invested all their money in rental properties and stuff like that and they spun it out of the rental. She took four years to get the Mercedes, but that was cash. You know, the fact is she's got the Mercedes and the house now. And she'd get another Mercedes in another four years or even less because she actually owns the house now. That is being thrifty. It's also being smart. Everybody tells you these days, you need to buy this, you need to buy that. You need the latest phone. But I've still got my phone from the last three years. It does exactly the same. It's a phone. Um, it doesn't matter. You don't need this crap. If you, I'd much rather buy a nice expensive suit than have the latest iPhone. Um, I'd much rather spend $400 on a gold pen than an iPhone. The gold pen I'm going to have for the next 20 years. On top of that, it doesn't devalue. It's very likely to go up in value because it moves into the realms of being an antique or a collector's item. That is the difference. And it's, although it's being thrifty, frugal, tight, whatever you want to call it, at the same time, you're actually creating assets out of stuff you would have thrown money at. Um, laptops is my biggest pet hate because I can't beat the bloody things. The, they're unreliable. Quality's gone down the pan since everything went out to China. And right now, I'm having to buy a laptop probably every two, two years because they run out. Somebody brings out a top quality lap, laptop worth buying, I'll be buying it. But it's going to last me at least five to six years before I'd consider it. Um, but yeah, being frugal, being tight, that's how you get on in life. Um, because it's how you use your money. It's not other people have more money than you. A lot of them, even if you had the same money they have now, you'll probably find you'll have a lot less very quickly because they manage their money differently. And that's the whole point. As a child, if you wish that poor dad, you'll learn that he learned it from a child's age about being frugal being tight, not wasting money, seeing the value and everything. That's life. If you can understand the, these basic things, you'll find you'll get on in life. Okay, thanks for watching.